now. All right, back with another weekly Power Rankings show. We are uh, getting down to it. Only three weeks left of this. I'll have to make a different one for the postseason, I guess. But let's just get into it. We know how Power Rankings uh, work, how Tier Rankings work. Um, the Bengals. Uh, I think the Bengals are still mid. I don't know if I can get them too high. I don't, I don't know how much I'm fully buying into the Jake Browning experience, but it's working right now. This team is finding ways to win. Uh, I still think that, you know, Again, I just don't. I want to see more. Uh, I guess from this, and they still took them a while to get going versus Minnesota. Granted, once they got going, they really got going. But uh, mid feels reasonable here. And the you know uh, the Giants, they've been plucky this season, but still in the bad tier. Kind of a you know really got crushed by the Saints. Really, uh, so you know have had some games where maybe they've won. Uh, that we didn't think they would win or been in that we didn't think they'd be in, but still not a very good team in my opinion. Niners, I mean, obviously Super Bowl contenders. They keep winning by a million. Kind of got to put them there. The Saints, um, maybe this is being a bit too high on them. I'm going to put them all the way into maybe playoffs tier. They're starting to feel like they're maybe a playoff caliber team. The Derek Carr played well against the Giants. Uh, the receivers are good enough. They're not, I don't think they're the best in the league, but they're they're good enough. Um, I still think that they're, you know, this team has had too many down moments to get too excited, but I'll put them in this tier, sure. Uh, Bears also are into plucky but bad. Man, they had a real chance to win that one. I mean, a real chance with the you know, dropped Darnell Mooney uh, pass, but even without that, they were up 10 against Cleveland, but just they, they, they find ways to lose games. So many just, you know, games they could have had weren't able to get it done. The Packers, who I feel like I put all over the place, I think are in the mid-tier. That feels right. Uh, you know, re- weapons have been good but inconsistent. Love has been good but inconsistent. Defense terrible. That, you know, mid-tier feels right. Cardinals, Kyler's a lot of fun. I think they're just a bad team at this point. I think it's just, it's, Kyler can't can't win them the games by themselves. So, that's where I have them. The Ravens are Super Bowl contenders, in my opinion. Again, beat a really good football team. It looked pretty good while doing it. Offense wasn't dominant, but again, they have a great offense and maybe the best defense in football. That kind of combination, uh, you know, doing wonders. The Cowboys, I don't know. I feel like I've been kind of waiting for one misstep to take them out of the Super Bowl contenders tier uh, because, just you know, uh, typically, I think just historically, I feel like they tend to disappoint. That being said, it's one bad game. I don't know how much I can completely cry. I guess it's not just one bad game. They, you know, the Arizona loss was tough. The 49ers loss was tough. I think I am going to take them out of the Super Bowl contenders tier. Maybe that's an overreaction, but uh, that's where I'm putting them. Um, the Bills, I do think, are in this tier in terms of they're in the for sure playoffs because they're for sure a playoff caliber team. They might not make it just given their schedule, given the losses they had earlier in the year, but that defense looked awesome against Dallas. And if their defense can get going, look out. Um, the Chargers, if there was a tier below just bad, they would be in that tier. The Broncos, um, I still think our maybe playoffs feels right. Again, uh, solid defense, solid offense here. Uh, you know, that, that feels like an appropriate place to put them. The Lions uh, in the mix as well. Again, I mean, I feel like I've had them in the first year playoffs, however, tier. I don't think this is a week where I'm going to change it too much. You know, they crushed Denver, uh, who, you know, okay, big win for Detroit, I suppose. You know, you did, you know, blow out a team that I still have as a maybe playoff team. So it's good. Uh, I do feel better about them, but I'm still going to not enough to put them into Super Bowl contenders tier. The Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, yeah, I, I took them out of Super Bowl contenders last week. And I think I'm kind of sticking with it. Uh, not the most promising win against the Patriots. They got the win and ended up not being particularly close, but that, it was close for too long, I think. So uh, I'm going to put them, keep them in that tier. Although, again, they just have to do one little thing to get back into the Super Bowl contenders tier, which I think at some point I will put them back in that tier. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to keep them in the first year playoffs. However, dear, there is a however. Like, there just is. The Atlanta Falcons, man, mid is where they belong. Uh, maybe I, I, for a brief second, consider dropping them down. No, I don't think so. I think this was a bad game, bad weather conditions. This was a, their off day, so to speak. They've had a few of those. Um, but even taking the whole thing into account, it's not a great team. Um, the Eagles, I believe I took the Eagles out of Super Bowl contenders as well. So I'm going to keep them there because they play Monday. So obviously, uh, you know, 
that's where you, that's where they're they're going. They play Monday Night Football, of course. Uh, you know, tonight. So yeah, the Browns are another interesting interesting team. You know, where do you go with them? So they they're winning games. They're finding ways to win football games. I still think they're in the maybe playoffs tier. I think they'll get in. I do think they'll make the playoffs, but uh, that feels right. Again, it is still a quarterback they signed off the street. Joe Flacco's playing well, but that's still what we're dealing with here. So maybe playoffs feels fair. And I think I'm going to put the Texans there as well. It's just so hard to get a gauge on them. Hey, they found a way to win without C.J. Stroud. That's awesome. But I don't know how much I'm banking on that in the future. They need Stroud back, but he could be back. So interesting there. And with the Colts, I'm kind of in the same spot. Like, listen, ended up kind of you know, crushing these Steelers, but the Steelers just look like a dead team right now. Uh, they, the Colts have had their bad weeks. They've had their good weeks, and they've had their midweeks. Uh, I'll put them in the maybe playoffs tier for now. And the Rams, who that game weirdly got close against Washington when it probably shouldn't have, but, you know, that's football. It happens. They, they still feel like maybe playoffs tier. I think that they could, uh, you know, I think they probably get in. I, I still think that way. It's not a guarantee, but I think there's a good chance, especially if they beat the Saints on Thursday, they probably get in. Um, yeah, uh, you know, maybe haven't looked great every single quarter of every single game this season, but uh, when they have looked great, they have looked great. So, yeah. The Dolphins, again, another great offensive showing. I'm going to keep them in the Super Bowl contenders tier. Their defense is getting, like, big splash plays, and if they can keep that going throughout the you know playoffs, they absolutely can't beat anybody. They absolutely should be viewed as Super Bowl contenders, in my opinion. The Vikings are, I don't know, it, it's weird. I, I, man, it, they're a tough team to really fully evaluate. I mean, their defense is playing good enough. I think I'm going to keep them in the maybe playoffs caliber tier as well. I know they gave up some late uh, scores to Jake Browning. It is what it is. And Nick Mullins in the offense looked not good, but maybe passable. I don't know. I'm not overly confident in the uh, Vikings. They're closer to mid-tier than for sure playoffs, in my opinion. Patriots are a bad football team. They look, maybe you could, yeah, you know what? I'll put them in plucky, but bad. Their defense has legitimately been playing great this past month or so. Just their offense is inept. Um, the Jets, the Jets are just bad. Yeah, uh, you know, even if Aaron Rodgers is here, I'm not sure if they're getting above the mid-tier. So, uh, just bad right now. This offense is atrocious. And the defense is very good, so maybe I should put them up. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, that loss was terrible. I'm going to put them in just bad right now. Uh, but either way, you know, you could talk me into Patriots being down a tier or the Jets being up a tier, but it's not by a lot either way. Uh, the Panthers won a game, still in the just bad tier. But, hey, you know, we're able to get a fun win. That's nice to see. So, good stuff there from Carolina. The Pittsburgh Steelers, man, I, I'm going to put them in plucky but bad. I mean, the way this team is playing, maybe that's generous. Uh, just just some tough, tough losses uh, recently. The Seattle Seahawks, again, they have not played. I believe I put them in the for sure playoffs tier in terms of their for sure playoff caliber team, even if they might not make it. So I believe that's where I have them. And Tampa Bay, I got to put them in the maybe playoffs tier as well, right? I mean, a couple of nice wins back to back. Uh, you know, This one was a really nice win against a, you know, a solid Packers team. I have them in the mid tier and Tampa Bay was able to kind of you know light them up a little bit, uh, you know. Baker Mayfield looked incredible. If Baker Mayfield's playing like that week in and week out. There's, you know, uh, better than this here. I'm not, I don't think he's going to do that week in and week out, but at least he is capable of doing that. Uh, the Raiders, hey, nice win there. I, I still don't know if they're a good team uh, or even a, you know, great. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm in between plucky but bad. You know what? I'll throw them in the mid tier. Why not? This is totally an overreaction to last week, but uh, whatever. Uh, realistically, they're probably plucky but bad, but I don't know. Uh, it was a great, great week for them. Great win for them. The Titans, I still think are plucky but bad. You know, they lost in overtime, but, you know, I still think that this, this team has a long way to go and probably needs to rebuild. Washington is just, they're, I mean, maybe with Jacoby Brissett, they're better, but as of right now, I'm going to keep them in the just bad tier, and finally, the Jacksonville Jaguars, who, you know, hung with Baltimore for a bit, but eventually, uh, Baltimore kind of got carried away. I still think they're for sure a playoff caliber team, but that's kind of all where I have them. Uh, I'm trying to think, I think I might have kept, I'm, I don't remember, yeah, I guess only three Super Bowl contending teams, teams right now. That's crazy. That's wild. I only have three uh, right there because I knocked Dallas out this week, and I, I knocked Philly and uh, Kansas City out, so... I don't know. I guess it's looking pretty good for uh, San Francisco. The only Super Bowl contender tier 
uh, team I have in that tier, so into AF out of the NFC. So yeah, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.